Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyan Kumar, and today we will learn how to create a vertical bullet chart in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this chart, and this is connected with this data service label and the target of that service label. And here we have taken three colors: red, amber, and green. So red is 50%. So uh, as you are seeing here, and the amber 20%. So it is 50 to 70%, and green is 30%, which is 70 to 100%. And the target of service level is 75%. Okay, and uh, actual service level is 83%, which is this. So if I will change the value of uh, actual service level, let's say uh, 90%. Then it will be changed, or if I will take it as 30%, then it is below the target and it is in red zone. Okay, if I will change as 60%, now it is still below the target and it is in amber zone. And if I will change as 72%, then sorry, not target, we will change the service level as 72%. That means our service level is in green zone but still behind the target our target is 75% if i will change actual service level as let's say 90% then it is is above the target and in in green zone okay friends so let's start how we can create this in microsoft excel so i'm creating a new worksheet here and i will copy this data this is the simple data just copy and paste it here okay friends now what we will do we will just copy this and paste it here and copy this and paste it here now we can link this like that press ctrl d to fill it down now service level we will take from here from B1 and press control for the target okay so now we will create our bullet chart with this data so I'm going to insert and I will insert a 2d column chart and I will take this one which is stacked column click here now right click over the graph and go to select data and here click on switch row column okay now we will change the width of the graph as per the requirement so I'm taking like that now click on this plus button which is chart element and we will uncheck the title and grid lines now click on this one which is the horizontal axis and press delete okay friend now what we will do just click on this which is red for the first here it is showing in red the red is 50 percent okay now go to the format and we will give a format of red so this is not the red so we have taken the format from here but we will give the color from here so select the color right okay now the shadow effect is showing here now select the second one which is the amber so we'll take the amber from here design so amber is already available here take this one now third one is the green okay so now we will take the green this one from here now this is the service level or actual service level so and this is the target service level okay this is the target service level so for first of all we will take the target service level for that what we will do right click on this and go to the change series chart type now here select the target and click on this drop down box and check this line with markers okay so this marker point is available here right click on this and go to the format data series under format data series you will click on fill and line and here 
this marker and now we will go to the marker option and in marker option we will click on built in and here we will choose the type we will take this one the line horizontal line and we will change the size as uh, let's say 50 okay now we also change the size overall size of this so right click go to the format right click and go to the format data series here we can take the gap width as zero we can change the size of graph also accordingly okay friend now what we will do we will click on this which is the actual service label and uh, uh, right click on this go to the format data series already open now just select the secondary access from here this one so as you are seeing the size of uh, the width of uh, this bar has been changed so what we will do we will take the cap width as 120 percent let's say okay now click on this and fill color as blue or you can take from the design sorry format also the save style as this one which is blue. okay and click on this axis secondary axis and press delete now click on the actual service level and right click and add data levels now format the data level double click change the font color as white make it bold so our bullet chart is almost ready we will change the axis value double click on the axis and take maximum as one which is 100 percent okay now we can give the shadow for the graph we can fill the graph as uh, any color whatever you want let's say i'm taking this one go to the format and we can take the format sorry we can give the shape effect as shadow this one so it's looking beautiful okay friends so that is how you can create a bullet chart vertical bullet chart in microsoft excel i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for the watching